Good morning, all of you. The topic of my presentation is ranching the transit migration from commodity to variability product line in the field of smartphone. So, senior agents need assistance all the time due to severe impairments, motor recovery, etc. And the smartphone provides assistance today and helps them to live independently. Severe impairments can impose potential constraints on deployment of smartphone technology. So, that, uh, the objective of this uh, work is to take care of the imposed potential constraint to the impairment and to satisfy your requirements. We, the approach we adopt to customize smart home to best satisfy today's requirement while keeping the cost as low as possible. And uh, our, uh, the satisfaction is the higher priority in comparison to cost. So we consider this smart home lab at Iowa State University for our work and uh, it constituted by the various modules, few of them are shown here. We classify these modules based on common and variable uh, category. And uh, we consider this scenario for the potential limitation. The, the resident has a severe motor impairment, unable to use the graphical interface. He has no uh, like speech impairment, can speak well in native language, but not in English. So we assume that the guy is good in Spanish, but cannot speak English at all. So uh, the current uh, deployment scheme of a smart home is uh, this, uh, based on the commissions where appliances and devices are uh, embedded after the consultation of uh, resident. This guarantees the resident satisfaction, but uh, it incurs very heavy costs because everything is start from the scratch and nothing can be reused from the previous deployments. So we attempt to apply this product line engineering to solve this uh, problem of uh, reusability. So this PLE is the process of reusing features, especially the common features in the production of new system, and this help out to solve this uh, non-reusability issue. So common feature uh, usually in PLE is the cost and uh, this PLE uh, relies on uh, different variability models. One of them I mentioned is a feature model. There is other uh, OVM for, uh, for uh, this is uh, the highly uh, used uh, feature model, variability model. So this uh, you can see the feature tree, the diagram of our smart home, which you can uh, show you the common variable features we have in our smart home lab here. So those uh, red features are common features where the yellow are variable features. So common features are those features which are bound automatically with these product regardless of, uh, on, uh, of any personalized request. And uh, there might be some cases that severe impairment may impose some constraint on binding of a common feature or features. So this constant common feature cannot be bound. It has to be uh, either relaxed or removed. So this uh, traditional PLE cannot be applied directly in this modern technology. So we uh, propose a new technique to overcome the issue and uh, what it does is temporarily relax this uh, common feature uh, temporarily to satisfy the resident request. It replaces the constant common feature by the needed one at the deployment time without redesigning the original domain. So we can see the sudden variability which is ad hoc variability generated in the community itself in the diagram you can see that uh, this uh, black and circled uh, feature in the common has been temporarily drifted to this variability. This, uh, the regular uh, variability model cannot, uh, get, uh, cannot uh, model this uh, ad hoc variability. So we devise a new variability, this new variability model we call it SVM, smart variability model, which can model uh, commodity variability but ad hoc variability also. So the, how this, it uh, models limited scenario, it replaces this English speaking interface by the relevant interface for this country request only. So you can the diagram, the left side uh, is the original, uh, the, the partial part of the, the feature tree. On the right side is after the modeling of this ad hoc variability. This uh, user interface, interface becomes the ad hoc variable feature now for this particular request only. So it, I repeated with this uh, select H lines. We use, uh, I do some cost benefit analysis by using uh, the first order cost model of PLE. And we use a product line of uh, 60 products and 200 products. To the left side you can see cost sub 60, cost sub 200 is a, like cumulative cost when number of products in the product line is 60. So you can see uh, the, in the result, like uh, this line, line graph, how this uh, PLE is enhancing economy of scale. But if you compare this PLE versus ranching, the ranching of one feature raising the cost by 42.2%. Per, 40, if you compare that with CCP, the cost is reduced by 82.5%. So if we conclude that like PLE, PLE enhances economy of scale, but no satisfaction guarantee. If we compare uh, ranchability versus product engineering, the ranching of feature got slightly raised the cost, but it guarantees complete satisfaction. Whereas uh, 
ranching versus CCP, ranching one, fe one features like this reduce the cost uh, heavily, but it guarantees complete uh, satisfaction. So we recommend that ranching might be a helpful process in terms of customized deployment of smart. Plan.